Are you afraid of God? No. But I'm afraid of you. Are you going to just sit there? As compared to what? Standing? Not standing. Rowing. Rowing? Planned on it. So you expect me to shoulder What's the this? burden? No, but I do expect you to do all the rowing. And why is that? Coming here was your idea. My idea? I made it very clear that I don't believe in the exercise. The rowing? No. Imagine that's wonderful exercise. Then what? The entire thought experiment. Excuse me. How much longer? One goes into an experiment knowing one could fail. But one does not undertake an experiment knowing one has failed. Can we get back to the rowing? I suggest you do, no, but we're never going to get there. No, I mean I'd greatly appreciate it if you would assist. Perhaps you should ask him. I imagine he has a greater interest in getting there than I do. I suppose he does, but there's no point in asking. Why not? Because he doesn't row. He doesn't row? No, he doesn't row. Ah, I see what you mean. We've arrived. Shall we tell him when we'll be returning? With that chain gun. We might give him some comfort. Well, at least that's something we can agree on. Hey! Somebody meeting me here? I'd certainly hope so. It does seem like a dreadful place to be stranded. There's someone inside. Excuse me, it's Booker DeWitt. I guess you're expecting me? Good luck with that, pal. Is anyone here? Hello? It's good when I am dying. It's good when I am dying. It's good when I am dying. And it's good enough for me. The old time religion. The old time religion. The old time religion. It's good enough for me.
shit. Expect me to sit in their fancy chair. So, uh, what the hell? Go! Make yourself ready, Pilgrim. The bindings are there as a safeguard. No! No, no, God damn it! No! Ascension in the count of five. No, count of four. No, no, no. Three. Two. One. No. Ascension. Ascension. Five thousand feet. Ten thousand feet. Fifteen thousand feet. Hallelujah.
Excuse me. Where am I? Heaven, friend. Or as close as we'll see till Judgment Day. Love the prophet because he loves the sinner. Love the sinner because he is you. Without the sinner, what need is there for a redeemer? Without sin, what grace has forgiveness? to our city and to our prophet, Father Comstock. We recommit through sacrifice and the giving of thanks and by submerging ourselves in the sweet waters of baptism. And lo, if the prophet has struck down our enemies at whom we need and not railed against the Sodom beneath us, it is it someone new, someone from the Sodom below, newly come to Columbia to be warned before our prophet, our founders, and our lord. I just need passage into the city. Passage to the city. Brother, the only way to Columbia is through rebirth in the sweet waters of baptism. Will you be cleansed, brother? <laughs> hey. I baptize you in the name of our prophet, in the name of our founders, and the name of our Lord. I don't know, brothers and sisters, but this one doesn't look clean to me.
Who's there? Who's there? Bring us the girl and wipe away the jet! What do you want? We had a deal to it! Open this door right now! I told you! I'm not gonna do it! Go away! Mr. DeWitt! Mr. DeWitt! Idiot priest needs to learn the difference between baptizing a man and drowning one. Granted a sword of gold, so that I need to find a landmark and figure out where the hell I am. Above all to Father Franklin, a key of gold, so that Eden might have industry that set her above all other nations. To Father Jefferson, a scroll. So that Eden our prophet fills our lungs with water, so they may better love the air. He who crossed the Delaware with flaming sword and wings of angels. Watch over me and lend me strength. Shield my mind from fear and doubt so that I may hold fast against all invaders. Father Washington, hear my prayer. Paragon of virtue, a rebel against ignorance and tyranny. Share with me your wisdom and let the light of your good judgment shine like a beacon through the darkness. Father Jefferson, hear my prayer. By the sword, sword and, and the, the scroll, scroll and, and the, the key. key. Amen. Amen. Is no chance, no luck, only providence. And that you see its divine hand at work, you discern the transmundane. Your inspiration and imagination transcend mere science and open our eyes to the mystery. Father Franklin, hear my prayer. Just because the city flies don't mean it ain't got its fair share of fools. All right, so got a girl to find. for the celebration. Father Comstock must have foreseen and planned it just this way. Like does not matter to a Liberty Scout. There's no room for preference, only duty. Psalmstall's all right, I tell you. Says he's for faith, family, and fatherland. 
Who could be against all that? Never hire an artist, my dear fellow. They are a temperamental and unreliable lot to a man. Uh -huh. I told him that the park is exceedingly far behind schedule. The, the, the landscaping is half finished. The, the statuary hasn't arrived. The fountain is full of rainwater, for God's sake. Even the marigolds are still unplanted. All work which should have been done months ago. Uh huh. Do you know what he told me? He said that he was tired, that, that the work had taken much from him. I said, good God, man, don't tell me about details, just get it done. Uh -huh. You almost finished down there? Yes, sir. And then the archangel showed a vision, a city, lighter than air. I asked her, why do you show this to me, Archangel? I'm not a strong man. I'm not a righteous man. I am not a holy man. And she told me the most remarkable thing. You're right, Prophet. But if grace is within the grasp of one such as you, how can anyone else not see it in themselves? Sake? Uh, it's Latin. It means Latin. <laughs> Good day, citizen. You're looking fit. Today is serious business, you know. Can't be everywhere at once. <laughs> You'll always miss something. That's why we're going to the raffle. I have a good feeling this year. Columbia Raffle and Fair. Huh. He's strong in the sword, but a bit weak in the key. 
scroll, if you get my meaning. System, eh? Columbia. And now, back to the music. Raising money for the girls' patriotic league. <laughs> Maybe next time. You'd look dashing with one in your lapel. Come back if you change your mind.
Oh, that's where they said I'd find her. Telegram, Mr. DeWitt. Huh. Telegram for you, sir. DeWitt, stop. Do not alert Comstock to your presence. Stop. Whatever you do, do not pick number 77. Stop. Lutess. What the... <laughs> A good day to you, sir. Hello. Look at her. Ain't she some kind of beauty? You know, that's where all the immigrants used to pass through. Wish they still allowed average Janes and Joes to enter. You know, you gotta be somebody now. One swing and feats of wonderment are at the tips of your fingers. You know our profit is fair. You, know you wanna let me through here, pal? Hey, streets closed for your safety, fella. They're prepping tonight's fireworks back there. There's enough TNT back there to blow Peking to Kingdom Come. Again. Roadblock. Better find another way around. If I told you a man could shoot lightning from his fingers now, would you believe me? I agree. If Keep I told you a man could hoist Should we go in? one ton stallion straight into the air, would you believe me? Well, friends, I am here today to tell you. Those are no flights of fancy. Those are no tall tales told behind the pool hall. No, sir, no, ma'am. Those are vigors I'm talking about. Brought to you courtesy of Mr. Jerome. Those dirty boxers are headed again. Their lies and descent. Fear not. Fear not. All of them feeling blue. And feet of wonderment are at the tip of your state. fingers. You know our prophet is fair. You know our prophet is kind. And he has asked, personally asked, Mr. Jeremiah Fink to bring to you these amazing wonders. Praise be to our prophet and praise be to our fair city. If I told you a man could shoot lightning from his fingers now, would you believe me? Young sir, young miss, roll up and try the amazing power of Bucking Bronco. Whether you need it lifted, lofted, tossed, or tumbled, Bucking Bronco is just the ticket. Well, well, young yeah. sir, young miss, roll up and try the amazing power of Bucking Bronco. Find the devil, good sir, and cast him out. Do you have what it takes? <laughs> <laughs>
not just secure. Grab a shotgun and go to work. You did. You got it. Give it a shot. Good man. Now take aim and blast those evil bots out of the sky. Hit enough, and I'll get you a prize. Blasting them out of the sky. Blasting them out of the sky.
on the loose. Who can protect us? Demonstrate your bravery right here. Shield the dark. Boxophones, boxophones, hear your voice from the past in the present. Say something, Sonny. What's a boxophone? What's a boxophone? Exactly that, a personal record of voice. Hey, just so we're clear, I'm not paying for this. Just a demonstration, sir. Have you sampled any of the new videos here today? I usually wait till Fang works on the kinks when we get safe. Step right up and see the eighth wonder of the world. He's big, he's bold, he's the amazing handyman. Only in our fair city will you see such amazing feats of technological prowess. He looks so sad. Sad? When you're that strong, what's there to be sad about? Dear friend, have you ever lost a penny to a vending machine? Has a pay telephone ever refused to connect you with a beloved spouse? Well, it's time to take back control from the men of metal. With possession, you are the master. You will bend any machine to your will. Give me one of those. With just a whisper, they're all ears. Sorry, pal. The raffle is all sold out. And for this Well, if it isn't Assemblyman Buford, your spot at the raffle awaits. Don't know why I didn't recognize you before. Odd. Always good to have gentlemen of your caliber at our fine fairgrounds. Four flavors. Good old Manila. Howdy, sailor. What port do you call home? Any port in the storm? You know what I mean? I have a weakness for this ice cream business. Heads. Or tails. Come on, let me through. Heads. Or tails. Huh. Tails. Told you. Hmm. I never find that as satisfying as I imagined. Chin up. There's always next time. I suppose there is.
it. The children that from the sky, already? when the young ones misbehave, escorts and children to the day come so soon. <laughs> That one. He looks lost. <laughs> he looks just fine to me. Mary, you are a living, walking scandal. I hear the Father Franklin machines will be taking in new stock soon. This little beauty? Ah, the whole division got them. If we're gonna flush the Vox out of the Skyline system, uh, we gotta have the best. Uh -huh. They got any openings in the group? I'd love to bust some Vox skull. <laughs> your books on the sciences. Mama says it's not a fit occupation for a lady, but I think she's jealous of our cleverness. Is it true that only you were allowed to visit the girl in the tower? If the lamb is lonely too, I should like to meet her, as we would have much in common. Warmest regards, Constance. Son, this street is closed. Good night,
has officially begun! Mister! Mister! Sorry, no sale. <laughs> Silly. There's never a charge for the raffle. You've been sleeping under a rock? 77. 77. That's a lucky number. I'll be rooting for you. Bring me the bowl! Is that not the prettiest young white girl in all of Colombia? <laughs> all right, then. The winner is... Number 77! Oh, what do you know? Number 77, come and claim your prize! First throw! Are you gonna throw it, or are you taking your coffee black these days? <laughs> oh, looks like we've got a shy one here. <laughs> we've got to do something about that. Please, please. Wait, it's him. Now. Where'd you get that brand, ah. boy? Don't you know that makes you the backstabbing snake in the grass, False Shepherd? The False Shepherd! And we ain't letting no False Shepherd into our flock! <laughs> Show them what we got planned, boys! Possession now turns machine and man into allies. Hold and release to create a ghostly trap. Son of a bitch! 
Scrooge is in the park! Cut him off! Don't let him escape!
getting hot. What's going on? No sample. Told you, Comstock. You sell them. Paradise and the customer expect cherubs for every chore. <laughs> no menials in God's kingdom. <laughs> well, I have a man in Georgia who leases us as many Negro convicts as you can board. Why, you can say they're simple souls in penance for rising above their station. <laughs> Whatever eases your conscience, I suppose.
Are you following me? We were already here. Why are you following us? Feel better already. You'll find that handy in a pinch. The difference between life and death. 
What was that? Hmm. Surprising. Surprising that it worked? Surprising that it didn't kill him. But a magnetic propulsive field around one's body can come in handy. doesn't kill you. Okay. Father Comstock called on me today to write his biograph. Me. The man pays for exactly 100 pages in advance. Now, I'm half a Jew when I smell silver, so I say, I say, Father, your flock would pay for a thousand. You know, why settle for less? And then the prophet looks to me and says, 100 will suffice. As I know how it ends. Hook must be magnetized.
Who's there? Open fire!
surrender! works up at the lodge part-time. He took this box from one of their secret ceremonies, and I know for sure there is something dear inside. Problem is, Otis is more fool than not. He didn't bother to also secure a key from the Feathered Brothers to open the damn thing.
silence is not a foregone conclusion. Ah! Oh! Tim, the one they're after. Go. They're looking for you. Police! We're in need of your assistance! They're here! Shh. Keep your voice down. I came by the wagon at dawn. Man was just, he just transfixed by my trophy scalps. Asked about the white ones there. I said, well, sir, if your quarry dwells in the jungle and beds down with the local color, why split hairs? <laughs> Not a chuckle out of him. Either he ain't seen a man go native or maybe, maybe too many. Anyhow, now he's got me hunting down this Daisy Fitzroy. Hope we don't expect me to stuff and mount her. <laughs>
off something. It's him! Kill you! Just do himself and firing into an assemblage of birds. 